from a very hot land of legends. Morning. Yay! We're in Turkey near Antalya. We're actually staying in a place called Belek, but um, I believe Land of Legends technically would say it's in Antalya. Um, this is a new park for both of us. Is that a new has, country? Has this happened before? Have we been to a new park before uh, together? I don't think we no, have, have we? No. But Sam is like the king of research, so he knows like where everything is anyway. <laughs> We've never <laughs> been here before. You're like, no, it's this way. Obsessive. Okay, I will follow you. I don't know where I'm going. Obviously, we are going to get in the queue for that first, because that is the main reason why we're here. That is a uh, creatively named hypercoaster that is indeed a Mac hypercoaster. Maybe I was wrong though. Look how big that inversion is. That is absolutely outrageous. Sam has taken us into the kiddie area. <laughs> we'll go back this way. Um, yeah, it's, it's strange so far. So they have this system where you can't pay with card or cash in the park. You have to get these wrist, you got the wristband. Can you see the wristband? Yeah like that and you have to load it with money but it's just faff so we queued to get in like the queues aren't long they're just not very well organized so they look a lot bigger than they are and you have to queue up top up your thing then we went and found a locker put our stuff in and then we come in and we're like oh we'll get a coffee and then immediately we're like oh the machine's broken <laughs> yeah 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 straight away so we're not sure whether we got a free coffee or we've been charged four times yeah for we don't she know sat, kept scanning the wristband but yeah maybe it is in there else we yeah were. this is hypercoaster so maybe this is the entrance it's very like steampunky themed i would say but it's like it's strange it's like you look at it and go oh well, this is cool and then you look a little bit closer and it's like i think this way yeah look gearist entry all oh, right yeah yeah um, and then you look a little bit closer and it is just another Turkish tat shop. So, yeah, odd. Very excited to get on this. I've been wanting to go on one of these for ages. Yes. I remember, what's the, there's one in, um, in China. Oh, there we go. Cool. There we go. Yes. We are going to get in the queue for Hypercoaster now. Yay. Strange animatronics in the station here. This is cool. Massive piece of theming. I wasn't expecting to see that. See, this is what I mean. It's like steampunk, but the ride's called Piper Coaster, and then we've come in and the Hogwarts Express is here. So, I, is it themed to a train, maybe? I don't know. It's very um, odd. Anyway, this is the queue. I don't know what that means. I think that might be the station over there. So. Hopefully We have just done our first ride on Hypercoaster. Hyper Sat at the back? Yeah. Hypercoaster. Yes. What do you think? Fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse the language. Really good. Like, took me by surprise. Obviously, uh, I, I'm a big sort of Matt Coaster fan. Um, but wow. Yeah, that first drop was uh, something special. You said it was row. probably one of the best first drops you've ever done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I could, like, I liken it to the big ones drop. Yes. Not like smoother, yes. better, faster. Jesus yeah. Christ, it's good, yeah. Yeah, yeah very it good. Had lots of, we sat at the back first. And I have I have actually watched a POV of that. And I said I thought it would be a front row ride, but Sam wanted to try it at the back first. So we did that. And yeah, I thought the first drop was really, really good. The airtime was really, really good, actually. For our, like, re I was going along and going all those trims, and I don't know if it's going to kill it, but it didn't at all. No. It was smooth, but it had like a little rumble to it. Um, but it didn't like, it wasn't to its detriment, was it? It was just like. We've said this yeah. with like, quite a lot on that coast, is it doesn't make the ride rough, but you notice no, it. No, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But I mean, one thing that was really good, we came off and we kind of said, well, that first drop and the way it's profiled, that's what Exodus is going to be um, at Thorpe Park. So it's made us really excited for yeah. that, I think, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, in for a treat, I yeah, think. Yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. Good. I don't know where we're going next, but obviously we'll, we'll give that a couple more rides throughout the day. We want to go, I want to go with the front. Um, and see how it compares, but yeah, I think we're just gonna what we will say is around. it's probably the only sort of like Mac uh, or bigger Mac coaster that I've ever been on that only operates one train. Yeah, I've never the, seen that on a Mac coaster. Before. I was saying to Sam, the ops here are what people say the ops are like at Port Aventura, as in they're not great, they're very, very slow, they're faffing about, and yeah. but I can't really see what they're doing, like. 
there's not really doing anything. I just sort of, I don't know. Well, they had to then, when we all sat down and got the restraints down, the two guys that were checking the restraints were screaming at the guy in the up box to start the ride. Yeah. Because I don't know if it was yeah. on his phone or something. Because like, hello, like, we're like, ready shit. to go. Stable yourself. Yeah, yeah like, it's, yeah, it's, it's not, not amazing. But I mean, I know, like, I, I kind of was expecting it. Like, the, the Turkish have a very chilled... Um, kind of approach to things so I didn't expect it to be like high octane like German efficiency um, yeah I think we're going to go and find some more coasters it's now it's called family coaster yeah <laughs> <laughs> so what, Sam what should we name our, our family coaster at this park honestly I think the best name that I could think of would be family coaster I think so too <laughs> is it like it is like Pegasus no Thank you. yeah oh is it walk on oh god we have to down our drink <laughs> Yeah, Everyone's in the no. Everyone's in the queue for a uh, hyper coaster. <laughs> there are a bug on my nose. <laughs> no, it's flat. It's an eyelash. Let's get a fuck really up. because it is literally themed to family portraits. <laughs> so random. I love this photo. Again, this face is like really cool. themed quite well. Yeah. It's quite cool. But then it's just, yeah. I was saying to Sam, it's like, it's like nice, but also it's Christmas, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's, yeah, I can't put my finger on it. It's odd. Finger coaster. <laughs> we just got off the family coaster, theme to families. Yeah, it's fun. Literally. Fun little weird. Was in Mac Young Star, did we think it is? It yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah, fun little forces. We sat at the back again. I, I didn't get a video of it, but it took like a slow mo video of you on the first drop and it was just awful. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> We're like, okay. Yeah, something. Um, I can't put my finger on what is strange about this park, but there is something. It's not even liminal. Liminal is the wrong no, word. It's, it's just liminal. odd. There's an oddness. An oddness to it. And that smells. That What was that? Yeah. Weird. Weird place. Also, they seem to have made a playlist of the world's most annoying songs. They're and just been, oh Yeah, they're all covers. It's like kids bop covers of like, what does the fuck say? And so there's like slight changes in yeah. every tune, isn't there? It's very, very weird. to go and ride the uh, zippy zappy coaster which is in fairness a kiddie coaster but it's not like the most horrendous kiddie coaster you've ever seen like it wasn't my no. but the, the woman was like no one child one adult and we were like please like we're just running she's like no you can go on the family coaster and we're like we don't want to go on the family coaster we've just been on the family coaster really hate it when parks do that like it's just it's irritating no like, issues going on the finger coaster but obviously the finger <laughs> but yeah it's uh I don't. I understand if there was like long queues and stuff, and they're like, no, we're prioritizing families. But there's there was no literally one. no one there. It's just like, come on. Like, we kind of said like, oh, we're like coaster enthusiasts. They're like, nope. So that was annoying. We're gonna go and ride Typhoon Coaster, which Sam is very much looking forward to. <laughs> Sam has not been on. I keep. What is? Is it just called a Mac Water Coaster? It is Mac just Super what, Splash. Mac Super. It's not a Super Splash, is it? Is it not? Don't know. I just. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. No idea. What's um, a Super Splash though? Like Atlantic Super Splash. That's a Super Splash. Right. Right. But this is a water coaster. It's slightly different. Um, is that a Oh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, Sam's never been on one with a vertical. Um, oh yeah, it is like a... Um, one of these. See, there's, there's a lot of this here, like fun fair rides that they've kind of like themed up. Um, but yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, Sam's never been on one with a vertical lift hill and a little like, slight yeah. fear of heights. Yeah, even so. the uh, one on uh, which is enclosed, the Matterhorn Blitz, you know, part oh, yeah. shakes me up. So yeah. this is about 10 times the size. So, yeah. <laughs> and it's outside. I'm going to go and find the strongest beer I can get. Yeah. Drink it. Down it and then, and then we're going to go on it. Bar to sit in the stomach. 
Yeah. A bit of air pump. Some pizza, Spicy some other food, pump. lots of tacos, chicken wraps. The food here actually looks really nice. There's loads and loads of options, which is cool. Seems reasonably um, priced. Yeah, well. it does. Is there beers over there? Can I see a bit kind of like an indoor thing? But... Oh yeah, is there like an indoor? Maybe. The, well, I said we're we're kind of exploring this park as we go. We don't really know. Sam has watched a few vlogs and so knows slightly more than I think. I also, do, like, but... like, there's not that much here. But yeah, there's not. It's majoritively water park. Yeah. We've bashed out all the coasters already. All the ones we can get on. Yeah. <laughs> After that, just flat rides. I think there's yeah. a little boat ride. Yes. Uh, so so we've got loads of time, so it's nice yeah. to just look around. Oh, look at this. This is pretty. Look. That's cute. Right, let's go and find Sam a beer. Is it there? It's pretty there, isn't Oh my god, it stinks. Blech. The water coaster that is not called water coaster, what's it called? It's called Typhoon Coaster. Typhoon coaster. And if you look at the sign around this corner, they've just duplicated the hyper coaster sign. <laughs> they got two for one on the sign. <laughs> yeah, sadly, this water coaster does not have an inversion as the sign would suggest. It was fine. I, I think water coasters are. What did you think? That was your first one of those? Yeah, uh, I've obviously done the ones at Europa, but that's yeah. different with the uh, lift. Uh, yeah, it's alright. It's, it's, it's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. Nothing special. That's it. Not soaked. Yes, you you did get drenched. You were like, we were looking, going, oh, no one's really coming off that wet. And then Sam got drenched. Not that you mind. It's what 34 degrees today. So yeah, it's, it's very Dry warm. Already. Yeah, I'll take you out here. We can look at it. Um, but yeah, no, that's all the crits for us done now because we've been not allowed on the kiddie coaster, sadly. Um, yeah, but we're just gonna uh, continue our day. I don't know what we're gonna do next. We're gonna go to some shops or something, are we? Yeah, we're gonna have a look. I want to do this. Stroll now, chill for yeah. a bit. There's a kiddie dark ride, boat ride yeah. thing I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, apart from that, um, yeah, like I say, it's not very big. Um, there's not tons going on here. I want to go back on um, hyper coaster. I keep going to call it mega coaster for some reason. Don't know why. Um, yeah, and I think there's like dolphins and stuff as well. We'll go have a look at those. Um, but yeah, it's very pretty. Let's see here. Look. Yeah, and there's the uh, not Disney castle as well. And this guy, for some reason, don't really know what's going on there. So it looks like Land of Legends have the same IP rights as uh, Movie Park Germany, because they are getting Nickelodeon Land, something Star Trek, something Paw Patrol, and something SpongeBob. And I will say, I do think it's good that they're getting something else because there's not tons here, is there? No, yeah, but there's there's lots of construction. The cranes, the cranes are moving about. I really love the theme of this. It's this kind of steampunk. What's the what's the water equivalent of steampunk? It's like aqua punk. It's like um, the Nautilus in Disneyland Paris. Is what it's like. Um, don't know if we'll go on it. We don't really like splash battles, do we get drenched? Yeah, I don't mind them. Like we did we were saying we did the one at PA Angle. Yeah. It was like similar temperatures to this mid thirties. And we got like stuck stacked. Yes. And we got drenched. We got drenched. It was but bad. it was fine. It, it was, was fun, like... but yeah. But I do look this I mean this area, I think this is probably the best themed bit of the park, this ride. It is really cool. But yeah, it's just gonna get absolutely drenched. And there's all these kind of areas on the fine. But do you see what I mean about they seem to have a load of like cheapo fun fair rides and then they kind of theme them up a little bit but then like look at this like magic carpet it's got like Disney rip off IP stuff on it and the Tagada is clearly just like a fun fair Tagada but they've like put some steampunk looking stuff around it 
Back to our favourite place in the park. We've been in the shop so many times, haven't we? Just keep Not coming back there. here. It's nice and aircon. Yeah, it is. Yeah, We're going to sit and get a drink. There's the hyper coaster again. Sit and get a drink. There's some or something. going to go on hyper coaster again. We're going into Masher and the Bear, Land of Laughter. And we were trying to decide if Masher is like an IP character, because we've never heard of it, or if this has like been developed specifically for the park. We don't know. See, a Masher back in the day used to be like a rep head, like you get mashed. A Masher. <laughs> Could <laughs> say. A twisted <laughs> yeah. sort of children's concept. Oh, it's going to be something weird. Joyful Journey, is that what it's called? Yes, Joyful Journey, yes. The, uh... Is shit trash bananas? Oh yeah, um, it's down currently for wind, which makes sense because it did fall through that loop, but a little bit annoying because we wanted to re-ride it. It seems to take it at speed. Yeah, exactly. It's when you're off ride that you think that it looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It reminds me of Insomnia, you know, the, the um, horror maze that uh, Burton. Yes, it's a Yes. Yeah. It's like Mr. Bean's teddy bear. Oh, look, they're ta the boats are taxis. <laughs> The Thank you. It looks like you. <laughs> Look, there's Frank. Oh my god, it's moving. <laughs> Carrot TV. Oh, it's all got holidays, I guess. So that was Halloween. Okay, yeah. Oh my God, here she comes! Oh Lord, she coming! Oh Lord! How sad the goat looks. I know. Oh, they're gonna throw snowballs at us. Helped me.
It's me. It's making jam, look. It's giving Carl's a Leibniz door. Oh, look at all the carrots. I'm having a great time. And the strawberry. did the masher and the bear dark ride boat ride and it was so cute it, was it wasn't it amazing yeah. i loved it no oh, you know you you've got me hooked when the first room you go into has jack-o-lanterns and Pumpkins. spooky things and werewolves howling and things so yeah it was great it was very very cute it's it's funny i don't know if that's like that feels like an expansion i feel like that probably wasn't there when the park first opened i don't know but I feel like that probably wasn't there when the park first opened. Well, you were just saying this must be IP because the park's so mismatched. That was like a really well put together yeah. park ride, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was. Like, well, we haven't come up with this. Yeah, definitely. I don't definitely. want to say that, actually, no. No, I think, I, think, I think that's right. But yeah, I mean, if that is IP and it shows you what they can do with IP, then I'm quite excited to see what they do with this stuff. Because they're obviously very good at... Um, are delivering something but yeah that was very cute we're gonna we go we don't know if it's back open yet we're gonna we thought we heard piper coast going around again so we're gonna go and see if it's um back open but it's still a little bit breezy isn't it so if not we'll admit the feet go to yeah the coast of exactly vile yeah we haven't been to the water park yet but yeah <laughs> it is warm we are sweaty it is not comfortable a couple of cans of beer helps yeah yeah it takes the edge off a it little does, bit doesn't it? Yeah. yeah no it does yeah I can't see what's going on. So we just waited about half an hour. Um, Cause like I said, the uh, hyper coaster is down for wind. So we just sat and had a beer and thought, ah, oh, we'll see how it goes. But we uh, just spoke to a staff member and they said it is down for the rest of the day. So that's a fucking shitter. And like, so we went in, we we're like, it's not that windy, but then he's like, the wind's gonna pick up. We came out of the restaurant and in fairness, it was like double the amount of windy it is on windy. the ground as well. But again, like you said, it's two higher, higher up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's 200 feet in the air. Yeah, as much because it's not been cheap. What did we pay? 160 pounds. Yeah. To get in here for the day. Exactly. Um, it's two creds, three creds. You can't even call it the other two creds because it's a kiddie coaster, or a water coaster. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's extortionate. Um, yeah. So it is a shame, yeah. but also like we got on it. Like we went on it and we had a good time riding it. It was good fun. I wouldn't envy any technical team that had to remove a coaster train from a track in 36 degree heat. No. Exactly. So I sort of look at it that way, but, but yeah. we said we'll come back. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, we're gonna go. So the water park is included in your ticket. So we're gonna go. The park's open till it's four o'clock now. Park's open till seven. Six. So, six. So we're gonna go um, over to the water park for a little bit now because they've just opened. Literally last week, they've just opened the world. According to them, the world's longest water yeah, yeah. coaster. We've noticed in Turkey they do take a little bit of liberties with like. I was getting the hotel. Yeah. There's a tattoo shop and it's, it's the world's best tattoo shop. I'm like, all right, this is a running theme here. Yeah, we're just the like, okay. Best fake Louis Vuitton bags, obviously. Yeah. Maybe but, it is the world's longest. Yeah, maybe yeah. it's not, but it looks fun. Good, so yeah. yeah, we're gonna give that a go now. And there's like a wave pool and like lots of slides and stuff. So we're gonna go and do I've that. I've also got but... a singed so shoulder, so yeah. make sure I don't end up with third degree burns. Yeah, hopefully horrible. not. Um, <laughs> And then we're going to go check out the shopping village because there's some restaurants and stuff. We're going to come yes. back another night, aren't we? Yes, uh, exactly. Because there's like a big grand fountain show. Yeah, stuff. so our hotel is only like 10 minutes down the road from here. 
Um, I think it cost like 15 euros in a cab or something to get here. <laughs> the taxi driver was unhinged, channeling Silverstone. Yeah, oh, God, oh my was... God, the roads here. Yeah, there's no lines on the roads and no rules. They just kind of drive everywhere. But yeah, we're going to uh, yeah go and enjoy the water park for a couple of hours for the rest of the day. Um, yeah, real shame we didn't get back on a hyper coaster because we had a good ride. I don't think it was the best thing in the world. I just I, I wanted to try no, it in different to, seats. Like, That's what it was. For me, it was very much like a first drop coaster. Like the, I said it earlier, the big one's a first drop coaster. Obviously, it's yes. better than the big one. Uh, but it is. It's sort of after that. It's nice. There's lots of airtime. There's lots of airtime. It's a really good airtime coaster. Nice transitions as, yeah. as there are in all the Max Coasts. Oh, my God, I hope you nice. yeah. I said it, re it reminded me of the old school Intamin coasters, like uh, Expedition G-Force or Goliath. Um, just the way it was laid out. It, yeah, very much like that. Um, yeah, cool. I'm glad I really finally got on one. And obviously the, the, the vertical loop is huge. Um, and that was really fun. And I grayed out on the vertical loop. Um, but yeah, it is a shame. I really would have liked to have got back on it um, for to try a few different seats. But we got on it, um, so that's the main thing. But yeah, considering how much we paid to get in, it is a bit of a pain Not in the like ass. What, what, one thing I will say uh, is that once you get in it, it really is cheap to eat, drink, the merch. Yeah. I literally paid six quid for a t-shirt and it's pretty cool. The beers, I think we've been paying about three or four quid yeah, for a big a can lot. of beer. Um, we bought some socks, water socks before because the feet is molten lava. The, the uh, floor. ground is floor. Sorry, I've had a few beers. The floor, <laughs> floor is molten lava, and they yeah. were like six quid a pair. So you do pay a premium to get in, but it's really clean, really nice, yeah. and it's not that expensive once here to, no, to live. Exactly. So. Yeah. Certainly, but yeah, we're going to go to the changing rooms now. You can see a little shot actually of the uh, coaster, this multicolored thing here of the water coaster it's kind of like Krakatau at um, Volcano Bay but yeah we're going to go get changed now um, I don't think we'll do any footage from the water park because I don't have a waterproof camera with me um, and Sam forgot his GoPro so we will uh, well, maybe later when we sat down back in the hotel we'll do like final thoughts or something I'll get a few shots as we uh, leave the park as well yeah good evening back from the Land of Legends resort I'm doing this because Jordan didn't want to tonight so uh, it's now Friday night we are back with the Land of Legends, as you will see from the spectacular castle. Um, on Sunday, Monday when we came? Monday was it. We didn't film an outro because we were really, really hot. It was like sort of a hot, like 38, 40 yeah. degrees. We were just on the water park. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're back here, so we thought this would be a good place to film the outro. Um, Jordan, thoughts on the park? My thoughts on the park? Oh, I mean, okay. I thought the park was really nice. I liked it, but it on like from far away, like from far away, the castle looks really nice. You can see it looks really nice. But I feel like if you went up to it, you'd be like, oh, the paint's like flicking a little bit, and like the grass is like needs a mow. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it's stuff like that. Like the, the attention to detail wasn't really there, and like the theming was random. Like it, it was like. It, it, it was what did I say on Twitter I said it's like there's an analogy where it's like if you get a committee to design a horse they'll draw you a camel yeah, and yeah, that's what that perfect. is like it's it's oh, you keep tipping your heart to your face I'm sure this. she is uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm doing this for the first time so I'm yeah um, and that's what it felt like to me that there was no like it, it felt like there was no one person like pulling together all the thematic ideas into one consistent thing. So there were some areas that were really nice. I really liked the um, splash battle thing. I thought that was really nice. It reminded me of the Nautilus at Disneyland Paris, and I thought that was really cool. Um, what else did I like? Like there were some instances that like, when we went into the queue for Hypercoaster, there was like, a big train like Hogwarts Express, and we were like, yeah. oh. But then the longer you stand there, the more you're like, oh, this is a bit like. You realise that it's just like there's the attention to detail is in there is basically yeah, what yeah. it is. Like I can't it's really... like they've looked at a catalogue and been like, okay, this train looks sick. We'll yeah. put it in. It makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, that, like in it from a catalogue is a really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like they've got all that, 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 and that works. And it's yeah, it, it, it doesn't really make sense. There's no real like yeah. Just, it's like someone like, designing a house and they have no sort of artistic direction and they've looked at a. Uh, a catalogue for a designer or a, yeah. uh, a like a sort of interior expert and just picked it and gone with it but yeah, yeah same for me and it was like we, we got here and it, it, again look I mean look around this is, is, is beautiful this is beautiful this is very beautiful this is giving Florida like it's this stunning. is yeah um, quite into the park again similar vibes to Jordan for me ooh, no. ooh, ooh. No. for me Hypercoaster was great the first drop 
we only got to do it once so it, it went down about four hours into the day because of the wind which yes. was uh, i'm going to swap hands because it's hurting yeah. me is that your arm aching um, now yeah um but yeah and then we sort of walked around there was like you know like in like spanish parks and there'd be like a merry-go-round there was parts of the park that were like that a bit random like the other thing i thought was there were flat rides and you'd be like oh that looks cool and then you get up close and it would be like something you would see the fun fair that they've put in a theme park and tried to dress it up like it's in a fun fair like like it's in a theme park sorry and it it was just a bit strange some of it some of it was a bit weird and i was like oh i also like I said, we only got on hypercoaster because of the wind. That's not the park's fault. No. But the ops were also not great. Yeah, so it was like five to six minute dispatches. I yeah. We probably mentioned this in the vlog. It was five I think days we probably ago. did. Yeah, but but, but yeah, to. there was a bit where like we were waiting to go on hypercoaster and the hosts had like checked everyone's restraint and the op just was not paying attention. We were like shouting and the him down there. Like, yeah, and we were like, uh, this is a bit dodgy. Yeah. Like, um, what else was there? Um, oh, the pay system. Ah, uh, yeah. Is very so the annoying. wristband system is like, there's like two points in the entire park. From what we saw, there's probably more, but we could only find two near us. And we wanted to go and buy a beer and then some water socks. Yeah. Because we're going to the water park and it was like, no, you had to put your beer down and go back to this sort of situation where there was a, uh, a little kiosk. And it was and fine. It was, it was easy. Yeah, yeah. In the moment and you're like I want to buy a beer but no I can't go buy a beer I have to go to this station first top up my wristband then go back I thought it was going to be like Volcano not Volcano Bay um, Rulantica where you have a wristband and then at the end you check out and you just pay which yeah. I think would be better but no you, you have to like pre do it on it. the trot as um, opposed to doing and it we were like well, we don't know how much they're, they're like how much you want to put on and we're like well we don't, we don't we, know we, we, we were don't talking about this stuff but, but we, we said like prior it was just a water park and that oh, makes sense that we threw Atlantic yeah. it works but obviously they've then adapted and, and sort of expanded into this theme park situation and the reality is it just doesn't work no. uh, at least not for us but it's, maybe it, maybe it just, for other people just, that are used to it it but, just was like um, you, when you're at a theme park you want things to be easy yeah, and you want your day to be easy and anything that makes your day a pain the arse sticks out in your mind I think yeah yeah um, really and that is something that I was like mm, that was annoying and, and it, it's something that I kept having to think about like, I think also I'm going to swap arms again because it's fucking hurting me. Yeah. I think also the uh, the cost for us, so it was like 160 pounds for two of us, and again like you do the, the water park is unbelievable. The water park. What massive. we saw is That's huge, like right, absurdly big. But there's, there's what three coaster credits that you can get on if you're an adult. Um, so unless you're coming here and with the intention of like getting your money's worth in the water park. The it's a lot is, of money, isn't it? The like, problem is, so we paid 80 each, but I know it can be anywhere from 80 to like 120. We, there are people ahead of us in the community who paid 120 each, and that's pounds. So there's a big discrepancy in terms of the discount you can get. Um, but like I said on Twitter, I think if you went in and said, okay, the theme park is quite small. If you went in and said, okay, I'm going to do four hours at the theme park and the rest of my day at the walk park, you would get your money's worth. But equally, there is also not enough time to do the whole of the water park and the whole of the theme park in one day. So you would have to buy two tickets. And at the price of two tickets for £160, I don't think it's worth £160 yeah. for two tickets. I think, I think the reality is you really do need two days. And again, if the yeah. ops are like... If, the ops... if you want to do the water park and the theme park in two days, yeah, if, 100%. Yeah. And, and the reality is for that cost, you're going to want to because yeah. the ops were not up to scratch. You're talking five to six million dispatches and everything. The water coaster was a bit better, but... Um, yeah. The water coaster was fine, and the water coaster had the really cool, like... Um, I don't think we talked about this. Did we talk about the water coaster? The like, dark ride there was bit. a dark ride section. I thought that was really cool, and that felt a bit more like theme park. But this is what I mean in terms of the inconsistency, because that was really good, and then... And then Hypercoaster was like random, and when you were in the um, station, it felt like a box with a load of random shit on the wall. And the same with like the family coaster. We were like, it's literally themed to families. There were like loads of family portraits on the wall, and it was playing the Adam's you, family. We were sort of taking the piss, and it was like, oh look, the Hypercoaster yeah. is a Hypercoaster. It's called Hypercoaster. Oh look, there's a fucking family coaster. We get into the family coaster queue. Oh no, it's actually themed to families. Yeah. Like, how are you going to do like, this what? family portrait? Yeah, taking like, it so and then literally. All of a sudden, it's da 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 da. And we were like, the oh, Adams family right. theme is played. But again, a great coaster. It was a Mac Young star, similar to Pegasus yeah. at Europa Park. The same yeah, as we had fun on it. It was really good. Was they, did, they didn't let us on the kiddie coaster, which was 
why like I, I, I get it if, the, if there's like the park is really busy and there's not enough time we're going to throw us as families but the park was not busy and we walked up and we were like oh we, like, we're bloggers we want to film it like we're theme park enthusiasts oh, zippy zappy. and the woman was like no you can ride family coaster and we were like we don't want to ride family coaster I want to ride the kiddie coaster and she was like no and it's just like I just feel like with stuff like this like parks should educate their staff on like look if you get adults coming and wanting to ride it just let them like for we sure. mean no harm like I just want the crowd <laughs> like, but uh yeah but no ultimately it's, it's a beautiful place uh, and we're, we're, we're glad we're back here tonight we've booked the, into the a pizza place stunning. yeah the resort is beautiful um, yeah. and it just gives like Vegas Dubai vibes it's very Vegas, and it's very the, Orlando. I, I would like to say as well, like once you're in the park, I think a beer was like three euros. Yeah. Um, we saw a few I bought people. a t-shirt for six quid and it's a really sick t-shirt, the hyper coaster t-shirt. We saw a few people didn't be saying, oh, um, in once you're in the park, it's very expensive. And we were like, that was not our experience. Like, no, we found food, drink, merch, very reasonable. Yeah, like, yeah no, really reasonable. And that, that sort of softened the blow a bit, I think. Yeah. Uh, but no. It was, I mean, we both said it, 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 we wouldn't rush back until there's a few more things. They are actually, we, we noticed, yeah. and it will, you will have seen earlier in the vlog, there was the, uh, they, they've obviously bought the, a similar IP to what Movie, movie Park, Park Germany, Germany have. Yeah. So Star Trek, Nickelodeon and yeah. Paw Patrol are en route here. But I said this, like my colleague has said, he wants to come out to Turkey for kids. I think yeah. it would be fantastic. And oh, if you're God, a water yeah, park you, fan, yeah. then fucking great. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a good day. It was a really good day. We had we had time. I'll take over now because I'm going to do the outro. No, I'm <laughs> yeah, the first time I've ever done that. By the way, yeah. so I kept looking at the screen and all the cameras. I was going to say, how did he do? Did he do okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we did have a good time. But like Sam said, we, it's not somewhere I'd rush back to until they got something major. We really like the area. The area is lovely. Our resort is lovely. Oh, the Land of Legends resort is like is really nice. Yeah, check out the uh, Gren We stayed at a place called the Granada Luxury in Belek, yes, which is where cool. the Land of Legends is. Ten minutes from here. It's very very. Nice. Like literally one of the best hotels I've ever been in. Yeah, uh, the service good. has been incredible. The Turkish people are great. The food is fantastic. Yes. Can't rave enough about the country. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. Really. Yeah. Can't. With this, yeah, both fantastic. our this is both our first time to Turkey. We've yeah. had an amazing I time. Love it, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's been 43 degrees today. Yes, it has. It's been very we're hot. Like, you know. Um, yeah. Sweat. That's why we're wearing white. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we. What I would say is. If you were thinking of coming here just for Land of Legends, I probably wouldn't do that. If you're coming here to visit Antalya, visit Turkey, and have Land of Legends as a day or two of your visit, absolutely. But I think definitely. also like that, that we were looking at where to go. We've obviously done so many trips this year already. Yeah. It's five months into the year, we've been on five trips. We did the, uh, the road trip, we've not yeah. had, we've been hopping hotels, supposed to come to somewhere. So for us, it was almost get a resort a trip chill. in and then have this. If you can do that and want to get the sun and the food and the alcohol, etc., yeah. come out here and absolutely spend some time in a really nice resort yeah. and then come here for a day. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, no, I think that's, that's kind of my yeah. final thoughts on it. But yes, if you enjoyed watching this, give it a thumbs up and also you're going to vape on camera. Also, if you enjoy theme park content, please do consider giving me a follow. Because when we go to theme parks, we usually take the camera along. And Sam's going to try and start doing a few more vlogs as well. Um, but yeah, if you like theme park stuff, give us a subscribe. Um, and what am I going to ask you? Um, okay, um, have you been... What, how many different hypercoasters have you been on? And how would you rank them? Have you been on hypercoaster at Land of Legends? Where would you rank it? Because we were having a conversation about B&M hypercoasters versus other hypercoasters, and I was saying I think B&M do it best. I think it was also a shout out to the Bears Adventure, oh, who yeah. we've started looking at, what looking at, watching, watching. on YouTube recently, and they posed that question on uh, Twitter, yes. video, which is an interesting. They one, did Shambhala versus hypercoasters. Yeah, yeah. Didn't they? So yeah. We'll think about that yeah, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think, and um, yeah, I'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you later. Bye. See you later.